Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, if you are a Himalayan owner and if you have ever tried to record your ride videos, you might have noticed one really frustrating thing. Yes, I am talking about the triple dash screen flicker issue. I know the feeling. This flicker can really ruin the quality of your video. But if you have watched my Himalayan daily COVID video, you might have noticed one thing. My screen doesn't flickers. And in this video, I am going to share with you the exact settings which I have used for my camera to get rid of those flickers. So in my case, I have used GoPro Hero 10 to record that videos, but the concept is going to be the same for all the cameras. So no matter which camera you use, whether you are using a DJI, Insta360 or a GoPro, you can use the same camera settings and you can get rid of those flicker issues. So without wasting any further time, let's get started with the video. GoPro Hero 10 and I'm going to show the settings on this camera so now the question is why does this screen flicker of course you can see the screen is flickering a lot so this is because uh, the refresh rate of the tripper dash and the shutter speed of this camera they are not in sync so if you know the refresh rate of this uh, tripper dash or any screen you can match the shutter speed of your camera and the flicker will be gone but in the case of Himalayan we don't know the refresh rate of this screen I tried to search online and I checked on the manual and everywhere I couldn't find the refresh rate of this tripper dash. So definitely we cannot match the shutter speed of our camera with this refresh rate of this screen. So what else we can do? The another method to get rid of this screen flicker is to reduce this shutter speed. So what will happen if we reduce the shutter speed, refresh rates or the flicker of the screen will get smoothened out and it will be less visible in the camera. So now let's do the setting on my GoPro Hero 10 and you need to go into the settings. I hope it, this is visible in the camera and edit the recording settings. So let's say I'm, I'm trying to shoot into 1080p. So the resolution doesn't matter. What matters is the frame rate. So you can see here I have chosen 1080p and 24 frame per second. Now you need to go to the shutter speed and instead of auto you need to select the shutter speed which is the twice of the frame rate so in my case i was shooting at the 24 frame per second that's why i have chosen the shutter speed of 1 by 48 okay so let's say if you are shooting on 60 frames per second then this should be 1 by 120 double of the frame rate and this will do two things it will give a perfect motion blur in your videos okay so this is about the camera settings but if you do this kind of settings, what will happen? So I will show the video separately. You can see everything is blown out. Uh, nothing is visible. The highlights are completely blown out, right? And now to fix the highlights issue, we are going to use this ND filter. Yeah, the ND filters are kind of the sunglasses for your camera. I'm going to use the ND32. Okay, so this is the darkest uh, one I have. So basically you should choose the darkest ND filter for the current recording situation. So let's slap this on on the GoPro. Okay, once you do, you can see the highlights are back and now we are able to shoot it properly. So let's get on the bike and I will show you how this is working. Guys, you can see my screen is not flickering. I, at least I hope it is not flickering because the flicker is not visible to the naked eyes. So I have done the GoPro settings as I explained. So I am shooting at 1080p 24 frames per second. And I have set the shutter speed to 1 by 48 which is twice the frame rate. But again as I mentioned earlier, if you do this, the highlights will be blown. You won't be able to see a single thing in your video. And to avoid that, you need to use the ND filter the darkest ND filter possible for that uh, shooting scenario. So in my case it is 4.48 pm and uh, sun is quite bright right now and I am using the darkest ND filter which I had which is ND32 and you can see this is working very fine. I am not getting any kind of screen flicker and with the use of ND filter you will also get a very nice motion blur which is very soothing to watch. Right? So it is a win-win situation, you don't get a flicker 
and you get a nice motion blur in your video so i think that's all for this video guys but before going did you hear this nice sound of the himalayan and you know what is the secret of this smooth sound if you want to find out please watch this video and i will see you soon in another one till then goodbye